Okay, before I leave Sturgis, I got one more thing to do. I go up on all the Ferris wheels that I could find. Seattle was had a big one. Vegas had a huge one. Look at that beautiful. Oh my goodness. Look at these fucking bikes. Look at these things here. Whoa, what's going on here? It's not as big as the the one in Vegas, which is called the High Roller. It's not as big as the one in Seattle, but it, it's going to have a great view of uh, Sturgis. So, looking forward to going up there. Uh, he asked me if I want to put my seatbelt on. Are you kidding me? Danger's my middle name. Anyway, here we go. We're going to go above Sturgis for a bird's eye view. You don't want to look at my ugly mug. Let me turn the camera around. There she is. There's the uh, one-eyed jack. So I was hanging out. That was pretty cool. A few motorcycles around. I mean, look at the parking lots. The parking lots are full. The street is full. It's a hot day in Sturgis. It's nothing but the sounds of Harley Davidson's revving up. Just took some pictures of those beautiful motor motorcycles over there. So. As I go around the world, I uh, like to go on these uh, Ferris wheels. So this is, uh, I guess, my third one, or fourth one, I'm not sure. Zoom in on, on the action down there. This is the street that has all the action. You see one-eyed jacks. I just did an interview across the street from that. It's just... Uh, Motorcycle heaven for a motorcycle enthusiast. This is amazing, everybody. And oh, there's the Sturgis uh, on the hill. Two Sturgis signs, RV parking. You gotta love the sound of a, of a Harley Davidson. Oh, they have a little, this circus or this uh, carnival was supposed to be in Florida, I was told. And they, uh, they closed down Florida, so. He said, well, let's go to Sturgis. There's action in Sturgis. And they're right. Look at the motorcycles over there. There's a whole parking lot. Parking lots everywhere. Every shape, size, uh, you can imagine. Sturgis, a bird's eye view, I call this one. This is the street here you can drive on, obviously. That one over there, you cannot. So I thought you might enjoy this. Bird's eye view of Sturgis. Time for me to leave town. I did an interview on Fox 100.3. The real rock radio. Racing. Wow, oh, there's a racing, racing deal here. Let's see what that's about. They, they do race motorcycles. I'll have to take a look at that when I'm done here. Harley Davidson is the name. Get my noon broadcast from Harley Davidson Way and Main Street. That was pretty cool. Boy, the more I videotape, the more fantastic motorcycles I see. I mean, they're just unbelievable. Damn. Just gorgeous. We've got another unique looking bike here, and this is Dave. Dave, how many years you been coming? Sixteen. Sixteen years? Or that's that's a lot of years. Is this a new bike? Or it's called a trike, right? Trike. Trike? Yeah, from 2013. It was the last year they made them. And it's got air conditioning. <laughs> that's and heating. And heating. And uh, music and television and well, no, no television. No television. It's got carbon fiber body. 
100, 150 horse on 1,400 pounds. Wow. And it has so, reverse. The only uh, bike that has reverse. <laughs> not so much out of the hole, but top end, pretty, I'm going to guess 130. Wow. It'll run all day at 100 and it's real stable. Wow. Where are you from? Boise. Boise? And uh, what's your most remarkable story about uh, attending Sturgis? Amazing stories. Amazing. Too many don't even to recount. It's a great place. Yeah, I've already bought my ticket for next year. So. Oh, really? How much is a ticket? Right now it's 200 bucks at Glencoe. Okay. And that allows you to do the, I guess they have a music night? Or what's the deal? They have music there. I bring a motor home, so oh. I can be there the whole rally. I see. And, and you uh, tow this behind the motor home, huh? Yeah. That's pretty cool. It's got a trailer hitch. I can tow the trailer that I can tow it on. <laughs> That's fantastic. Well, is it, um, what's the engine? It's not a Harley engine, though. No. No, no. 2.3 liters of Ford engine. Oh, okay. It's fuel injected, low tech, very low maintenance. Yeah. And it's... Uh, looks really, com looks really comfortable. Good. And really... You I can run a 85, 95. I get it for 700 miles, and I got over about 40. Well, that's fantastic. Thanks for uh, your time, and have a fantastic surges. All right. Bye. Everybody, I've got Craig, my first gorgeous motorcycle of the day. What kind of ride is this? Big Dog K9. Big Dog K9. And where are you from? Kansas. Kansas. You drive that thing all the way here? No. You're it. Yeah, paint job's too nice. It's, it's freaking gorgeous. Um, how long you had it? Uh, it's an 07. 07? Yep. It's beautiful. Yep. So, um, how many days you been here? Uh, since last Saturday. Uh huh. I'm leaving next Saturday. Oh, you're here for the, the long haul. I'm here for the main thing. What is the main thing? The big crowd. The, the week. When will that be? Uh, well, it starts on Friday and ends on the following Sunday. Ten days. So I'm here for that six days during that. Gotcha, gotcha. How many years you been coming? 22 straight. 22 straight. Yep, Congratulations. I haven't missed a year. You're, uh, you're the second longest I've found so far. I talked to the guy yesterday. 40 years. Oh, my God. Yeah. So I'm going to try to get, um, try, I'm going to try to break that record today. But 22 is very cool. Tell me your best experience of the 22 years. What's the uh, most monumental thing that happened? That's uh, tough to say, man. Cool shit happens every <laughs> year. Yeah, yeah. What's the name of the group? God Smack. God Smack. Yep. Okay. Yep. Is that rock and roll? Oh yeah. Hard. Okay. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> this isn't country, right? It's, it's rock and roll or what? Well, yeah, I'm not into country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's fantastic. Yeah. Um, what do you do? Uh, retired firefighter. Firefighter. Thank you for uh, saving lives. Twenty-seven years. Twenty-seven years. That's fantastic. Yes, that is fantastic. Well, um, thank you for participating in this uh, little interview and. Have a fantastic trip. Oh, it's been great so far. That's great, great. It's going to get better. You got it. Nice it's all about you. positive thinking, right? Absolutely. You know you're going to have 100%. a fantastic time. I know I'm going to have a good time. So let's hear this, this bad boy. Start her up. See how she sounds. Hey everybody, I'm with Scott, and what are, what's your ride, Scott? I have a 2013 Road King Anniversary Edition, Road King. Wow, sounds like a nice one. It's a beauty. It's a beauty. And where'd you come in from? Uh, Minneapolis. And how many days was that? We got here Saturday. We're staying oh. up in Belfast. Okay, how many of there are you? Me and Dave. You and Dave? Hey, Dave. And uh, you got any trouble yet? Oh, me in trouble? Yeah. I'm you looking for trouble? No. <laughs> You're gonna. There's a lot of people getting tickets. I, I've interviewed two people got arrested so far. Oh really? <laughs> Just oh, no. stop, not stopping at a stop sign. Yeah. I mean, what is the police state here or something? Well, they tell you put both feet down. Yeah. Put both feet down. Yeah. Okay. okay. How long have you been riding? Well, nine years this time. And 
five years back in the 70s, and then I went fishing for 35 years. <laughs> Where'd you go fishing at? Well, I'm a Minnesota I'm a walleye fisherman. Oh, where are you from? It's called uh, Maple Grove, Minnesota. Minnesota. So you drove in from Minnesota? Yep. You, you, with your buddy? Yeah. How long did that take? Well, we took two days. We left on Friday, stayed up here Friday night, came all the way to Belle Bouche okay. on Saturday. And are you in a club? Well, in a hog chapter. Elk River. A hog chapter? Yeah, Elk River. Nostra Harley Davis and Elk River. Okay. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. I guess. Rides every weekend, right? We have a great club. Yeah. Unfortunately, because of the COVID thing, we uh, haven't been as active, but we do a lot of spur of the moment rides. Right, right. So. Well, you, thank you for the interview. Oh, yeah. You and betcha. you keep on trucking. You betcha. Thank you. My pleasure. Bye-bye. Okay, I've got Rod here, everybody, who's been coming here for 20 years. What uh, inspired you on your first year? Well, it's just the, just the way, the way it was. I mean, I you can see it on TV, but until you're here and actually witness this, it was like I'm coming back. Right. So I've been here 20 years out of 22, and... Uh, Hopefully uh, I can make it next year too. I sure got plans on it because I don't look forward to anything else but to come here wow. each year. What's your ride? I got a Harley Davidson Breakout uh, 2018. Okay. I love it. Yeah. And, and where uh, are you from? I'm from a mountain community west of Colorado Springs, about 60 miles west of Colorado Springs, up in the mountains, to where the only people that ever Come and see me as Kirk, the UPS driver. <laughs> we are, other than that, we're way out on a mountaintop and uh, love it. So you're a mountain man? Well. So to speak. Yeah. What do you do up there all by yourself or with your family? Uh, I got a wife up there. We're retired. Okay. So just a lot of work around the place. Yeah. And, uh, so what's your favorite story uh, from Sturgis? Oh, man. Um... I think it was years ago when I was here, and all the banditos come running through in one big group, and that was like, holy cow, you know, it was it was one of the first years I was ever here, and they come through there, and some of them bikes were like put together with duct tape and wire, and <laughs> just, I got a bunch of pictures of just the riders, right. and I'll never forget that, being the first couple of years that I was here. Are you referring to the Hells Angels or is that a different group? Uh, I was here one year when uh, the Mongols were here and they got later in the evening. I was coming downtown while well, they had where uh, over by uh, One Eye Jacks where the Hells Angels have their house there. They had that street all blocked off because the Mongols had gotten a fight with some of the angels. And my bike was three bikes in. And I, I couldn't get it out for over two and a half hours because they considered it a crime scene. Oh. And I talked to the cop and I go, hey, it's right there. Well, it's a crime scene. I go, well, there ain't no crime going on here. And they got all big headed about it, you know, right, right. how they all are. Yeah. But yeah, that was uh, one of the times that I seen, you know, there was a confrontation with the angels. Okay. Well, enjoy the, you're, uh, you're going to be here for the, the duration? Yeah, I've been here since last Tuesday. I've been here over a week, and I'm going home Saturday. Okay. Well, have a fantastic time. Hey, this is a fantastic thing. Hey, everybody, I'm back with Craig, who uh, just was uh, going to the Big Eye, One-Eye Jacks? One-Eye Jacks. <laughs> That's why I hung out yesterday. It's fantastic. I'm, I'm, maybe I'll meet you there for a beer. But um, you I'll buy you one. There you go. I'm, I'm going to be there. <laughs> Uh, I need a break. Uh, the, the point being is, though, you were uh, you, you were just walking by after parking your trike. It was a trike, right? It was a, a two-wheeler. Oh, okay. My memory is so bad. It's ridiculous. It was gorgeous. I remember green. I remember green. Yeah. Um, and you were saying you wake up every morning in a fantastic mood. Almost every morning. That is, Once in a while. Maybe not fantastic, but most mornings, yeah. And that's life. That's how it should be, you know? Yeah, yeah. I always say the secret to happiness is jumping out of bed in the morning, looking forward to your day. And those 27 years I was a firefighter, the night before, I was feeling fantastic. And I was looking forward to going to work the yeah. next morning at 8 o'clock. You know, because it was the highlight of my life. Yeah. That, it was not just who I, what I did, it was who I was. Right. 
And that's why I tell people that's the secret to happiness, jumping out of bed in the morning. Yep. Because then what happens is when you jump out of bed in the morning, you look forward to your day. When you look forward to your day, you do it well because you're having fun because you love it. And when you do it well, someone pays you for it because, you know, you're doing it well. You're getting paid to be a firefighter was like gravy. It was like yeah. frosting on the cake. Man. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm getting thirsty. I'm going to take you up on the beer offer. I'll see you there in a few minutes. I'll be down there.